The CAW tracking study is unique in a couple of ways. It is the first time that I know of where groups of workers have been systematically asked about their adjustment experiences. It is the first study to assess and measure the use of action centers and adjustment supports by laid off workers. It is a study that asks laid off workers a broad range of questions, everything from training and employment outcomes to their physical health and emotional well-being. This research also demonstrates that strategic union partnerships can make a significant difference for workers moving through the adjustment process and confirms what we already know about the difficulty many workers face in the labor market. Block training initiatives negotiated by the CAW on behalf of workers provides a good example of how these in initiatives can enable workers to overcome challenges and equalize labor market opportunities. It's the uniqueness uh, an action center brings. It's the um, the safeness uh, when people are actually down and out and trying to move forward to something that's not there anymore. For, for instance, manufacturing jobs, they're gone. So where else are they going to go? Overall, employment outcomes have been very poor. Most are earning a lower hourly wage, earning less uh, income uh, per week, have less control over their working hours, are, and are working without benefits of any kind. Long time ago, we sort of study and then get something. And I find it very interesting to see the correlation between overall general health, both physical and mental, and use of the action centers. When asked what supports are most important uh, to uh, their future adjustment, many discussed improvements to government programs such as employment insurance, Canada pension, education and training supports, and enhanced access to community services as essential to uh, the adjustment. The administrative burden on unions and employers who support adjustment programs is getting too heavy. But the main issue is the lack of support for unemployed workers. Both the federal and provincial governments have to accept that unemployed workers can't go into training if they don't have the income support that makes it possible. I think the money that's spent on the action centers is justified when just one person comes to me and says to me, I took some training, thanks to you, I have a job like I never thought I would have and I'm never going back to working in the field that I was in.